Hello. A key concept at OpenShift.io is that of a virtuous development cycle. This is a methodology geared towards continuously delivering value to your customers so that you may quickly respond to their feedback. You can then determine what to do next in your application, what new features to add, and delight your end users. In OpenShift.io, we see the virtuous development cycle as having three phases, analyze, plan, and create. The goal in Analyze is to take data, external or internal, to help you determine what you should do next. How can you make your customers happy? This could be feedback from your customers. This could be sentiment analysis from social media. This could be issues coming in from your bug tracking system or your customer relationship management system. This could also be really technical measures, for example, crash dumps coming from production. It really doesn't matter, but analyze is when you want to go and look at all of the data, try to determine what it's telling you, and use that to come up with a determination of which features to add or work on next. Which leads us to the second phase, plan. In plan, you take this backlog of capabilities and you prioritize it and assign it out to your developers to work on. And then finally, in create, the team gets busy creating these new capabilities and features for your application and deploying them out so your end users can see them, start playing with them, and give you that quick and immediate feedback. Let's now go into OpenShift.io and see how the virtuous development cycle is manifested inside the user interface. Let me open a space I've created called Trade Insights. When you enter a space, the first thing you'll notice is at the top of the screen, there are three major tabs, Analyze, Plan, and create. These precisely align with the three phases of the virtuous development cycle. On the Analyze tab, I see a screen that includes a dashboard that's giving me real-time information about the current status of my deployed application. Now our vision is that eventually all sorts of data will be pouring into this dashboard for you to consume and consider. Once you've gone through that information and analyzed it, you got some sense of what you want to do next inside of your application. So you can switch over to the plan view, and in here you can work in a traditional backlog view or even in a Kanban board. And this is a nice and easy way to take your work, your, your backlog, your decomposition of the tasks you want to do, and assign them out to the team and do so in an iterative manner. And once the team has those assignments, they can go over to the Create tab. And the vision for Create is eventually to have capabilities in here for everyone involved in the software development process. That includes not only just developers and testers, but also things like UX designers. Today, it's predominantly focused on people doing coding. I have quick and easy access to my source code that's in my Git repositories. And of course, I have the amazing power of Eclipse Che, whereby for any of these code bases I've created, I can instantly create a workspace inside of Eclipse Che where I can now go and edit and debug my application without having to install any developer tools to uh, accomplish that goal. Once you've made code changes, you probably want to start building your application and do so in a way that integrates with all the other changes the other developers are making. That brings us to our build pipeline process. And on the pipeline screen, I can see my most recent builds, I can see if they're passing or failing, quick and easy access to test reports, and most importantly, the ability to approve my changes to be rolled out from a staging environment to a run environment. And what is running in those environments, you ask? Well, that brings us to the Applications tab, which gives me a quick view of the applications that I've deployed out, those that I've deployed to stage, and those that I've promoted over to run, and which versions are running in those particular uh, uh, environments. And speaking of environments, all of these environments are powered by OpenShift Online, Red Hat's hosted container application platform. From the environment screen, I get a quick developer's view of what's happening in OpenShift, quick and easy access to various states and log information. But pretty much anywhere that you would like to if you want to have the full power of OpenShift at the ready, you just click on the kebab menu and select OpenShift console, and we will put you directly into OpenShift in the context of the element that you are looking at. As you have seen, OpenShift.io is all about enabling you to continuously deliver value to your customers. 
It does so through a virtuous development cycle of analyze, plan, and create. We hope you found this informative. Thank you for watching and happy coding.